Hello guys, Drew here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another makeover. Now, as many of you guys know, I just finished the horror movie room makeover, which is actually this room right here, and it's off the dining room. So I kind of felt like the space was not complete. Like I instantly wanted to start working on the dining room because they are kind of connected. And this right here is the dining room that I'm sitting in. And I honestly jumped right into designing and remaking over the dining room right after I finished the horror movie room, which if you have not seen this video, I'll put it in a card up there for you guys because it is such a great one and I wish you guys could see what I'm looking at right now most of the time I do film the intro for my videos like at the beginning when I haven't even completed a makeover it's like the start of the video but for this intro I'm actually filming it at the end so I could see the dining room right now and it's literally like just right past here is where everything kind of starts I think this is probably one of my favorite makeovers I have ever done if not my favorite one for sure it is just such a great transformation this makeover is honestly a little bit surreal as well because it is sponsored by Benjamin Moore which is absolutely crazy like i don't even know how to put it into words this has been a brand i have kind of dreamed about working with and have loved and have used for such a long time if you have never heard of benjamin moore they are just a super high quality paint line at an affordable price point so it's basically the best of both worlds so let's go ahead and get into today's makeover because i just want to and i want you guys to see the ending result so when I stepped foot into this apartment, when I was first kind of considering renting it, of course, I walked in and I thought everything was white. I was looking around, I was like, oh my gosh, it's already painted. This is so nice, this is amazing. And after living in it for a couple of days, I slowly began to realize that the color on the walls was actually like a very, very soft yellow that kind of played off being white because I saw a lot of objects in my home that were pure white against the wall and it really showed how much of an off-white color it was. So I instantly knew that I wanted to paint this room a bright white color. So I opted for the Benjamin Moore Chantilly Lace Paint, which is one of my favorite colors. And I feel like it's a designer favorite as well. I, a lot of my favorite interior designers or like Instagram decorators, they always use the Chantilly Lace Paint by Benjamin Moore. And I have never used it before. So right when they reached out, I instantly knew that a majority of the space was going to be painted with that white paint color. And that is exactly the same paint color I used in the horror movie room as well. <laughs> you guys right now this paint was extremely easy to use super high coverage and honestly amazing quality i've used paints in the past where i've had to use multiple multiple coats of this and i did not have to do any form of priming prior i just used the paint directly on the walls and i did two full coats of the white just because i feel like whenever you use any paint color you should always do two coats because there's always something you could miss in the first all right guys so it's been a couple hours since painting and it looks incredible here is like the actual color change this is the new wall here here. This was the old color here. It is absolutely crazy how much more bright this Chantilly lace color is. It's oh, it could be kind of a cool look if I had like this creamy kind of off whitish color on the ceiling and maybe like a, a really bright white wall. And then I saw it and was like, absolutely not. We are painting the ceiling as well. So I went ahead and gave the ceiling. I only did one coat on the ceiling and it covered on perfectly. And then it came to choosing a bold accent color. I knew I wanted to do something really dark and kind of moody in this space, but I didn't know what exact color I wanted to do. So I actually used the Benjamin Moore Color Portfolio app, which is an incredible app. If you guys have not used this, you must download it because it's honestly just like a fun thing to play around with in your house. When you click into the app, you can actually start by viewing virtual fan decks, which are really nice because you're able to see such a wide variety of different colors, different shades, basically from light to dark of that color tone and see maybe what works best for your space and I also love how you can easily click a color that you might enjoy, like this one, for example, and click the little heart at the bottom and it saves it to your favorite. So you can have like a collection of favorite paint colors. But my favorite part about this app is the video and photo visualizer. So basically with the video visualizer, you are able to hold your phone up and kind of put the wall of the space in front of it or within the video screen, tap on the screen to give it color and you could change the color of the wall virtually without having to actually add paint to the wall. And the photo visualizer is the same exact 
exact thing. Basically, you can import a photo into the app and you can just add paint colors directly to the walls of the photos that you add. But the video one's kind of cool because it's actually real life. So you can kind of pivot it and move it around the room to see what works best for the space. So I ended up opting for a color by Benjamin Moore called Hail Navy, which I know is a pretty popular shade of navy and I can 100% see why. I'm looking at it right now and it is such a pretty color. This paint was such an amazing application process. I wish I can kind of do it again, honestly, because it went on so opaque, so dark and so smooth with just one coat. So I started off with a brush and kind of went around all of the trim and I was just so surprised at how much you could stretch this color. Like you can honestly keep on painting and keep on painting without dipping back in and you can get this color to go so far. However, I did have like a good amount of paint. So I wanted to make sure that it was really saturated. So I kind of just focused on a little bit of a section of the trim, then moved on, did a little bit more. And I also painted the cube cutout that was kind of meant for the China cabinet, I believe. But of course I'm not putting a China cabinet there. I'm actually going to be DIYing some shelves in just a little bit that you guys are gonna see me create. But if you guys would like more inspiration or color ideas, definitely head over to Benjamin Moore's website. I will link it in the description box below because they have a ton of DIY projects and color ideas for your home that you can follow super simply and easily. Their ideas are also really amazing and do not forget to download the color portfolio app because honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna live without this app. I'm going to be using it a thousand percent in every single room I do from now on in my home. So now that all the painting is done, we are going to rewind a couple of days to where I started the rest of this process after the paint was dried. So let's get into that. Guys, you know what time it is. The paint is now dry and I'm gonna go ahead and remove, I literally have painted fingers. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it, which I'm so excited about. I'm hoping that the line looks, oh, that is crisp. Good morning guys, it is day three of the dining room makeover. I spent the first full day painting it white, the second day doing the blue accent wall here, as you can see behind me. By the way, I'm gonna be wearing a hat a lot because I have not been able to get my hair cut while being at home, so my hair is just absolutely crazy. So I hope you guys don't mind me honestly wearing a hat quite often. And it just went on seamlessly and we actually painted the whole entire baseboard. We even painted the outlet cover there and also the door frame and we removed the door. That way it was just a little bit more easy access to the hallway area. Now something I was planning on doing today was actually creating the built-in shelves Which are gonna go inside of this here, which I believe this is originally a cutout for like a china cabinet Sadly the local lumber store, which is the only store that's actually doing wood cuts right now Is not cutting today because it is raining outside and there's saws outside So basically we have to get those cut tomorrow I really wanted the shelves done first so we can do all the decorating at once, you know, but I think it's fine I'll just do the shelves tomorrow and spend today kind of like decorating a little bit and putting the room together Okay, guys, this is the rug for the Space. Well, funny thing is that we actually ordered a rug from Rugs USA, but it didn't ship in time. So I went ahead and I picked this up at Target. It's from the Hearth and Hand Magnolia Collection. I'm gonna flatten up this rug. Okay, this is cute. I broke my elbow. <laughs> So we just added in the rug, the tables, and tables, the table and the chairs. And the table and chairs were so kindly gifted from Article. These are amazing. I absolutely love this table here. I'm going to link both of them below for you guys to check out if you are curious. But we got six of the black dining chairs and then one of the table. And it actually is an extended table. So you can add like the leaves here and make it longer if you want to. Now I want to be completely honest with you guys about the rug situation. So I actually had ordered this rug, which I'll pop up on the screen right here for this space, which I still am really wanting to use that rug for this space. However, I ordered it about two and a half weeks ago from Rugs USA and it has not shipped yet. So once that rug comes in, I'm actually going to swap it for this one. But I purchased this one because I figured I can use this in the Lone Fox room um, once it was done here. But for the makeover portion of this video, figured why not put it here. So for now, we're going to use this rug um, and then move this into the other space. And then when the other rug comes in from Rugs USA, probably going to swap it out and I'll make sure to share with you guys photos on Instagram. But this doesn't look bad at all for now. I think it looks super cute as well, but I do think the other one I ordered might look just a little bit better with the vibe of the space. All 
All right guys, catching in with you just a couple hours later, we actually were able to find a lumber store that was open and willing to cut some wood for us. So we went there and literally just told them our dimensions and they cut three shelves for us because basically what I wanted to do with that open cutout, like I mentioned, was create some shelves inside of there. So I wanna show you, I kind of already started working on the project, but I'm gonna share with you how to do one shelf and then it's pretty repetitive for the other one. So let me show you what I already did. Okay, so what I did was I already went ahead and I added one shelf and how I did this was I got these little brackets here and then I just went all the way around and used a laser level to level this off. I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. And then I got the melamine cut at the hardware store and they cut it down to the perfect size for me. It actually kind of had to be hammered in just a little bit. So there's a little bit of like paint that's chipped off, which we're gonna have to repaint of course. And then this is going to be fully painted the blue color as well. So I placed some things on top just to make sure that it was nice and level and looked perfect, which from back here, amazing. And of course you can see the brackets now, but once everything's painted blue, I feel like it will blend in just a little bit more. As you can see with my new apartment, I've been getting very handy with power tools. So basically what I did for this wall is I wanted to add some floating shelves. So I used a laser level to put where I wanted each shelf to be on the wall with a laser. And then I ended up marking the spots for the brackets. Next, I'm gonna be using anchors to secure the brackets into the walls. So I needed to use a drill to drill through the wall first. And then of course, we're gonna add the plastic portion of the actual anchor. And the anchors I used are these 46 pound anchors. And we're gonna be using five brackets, which means 10 total anchors per shelf, which is gonna give a pretty strong bond. So you're just gonna follow the directions on your anchors. Mine was to just drill the hole prior, hammer them into the wall, and then you can use your brackets and screws. And keep in mind that each bracket has two little holes on each side so I went ahead and I used my screw to screw through the bracket and then into the anchor in the back of the wall and every time that you do this it's actually going to open up that anchor on the back side of the drywall and make sure that this bracket is held securely in place so then when you go to add your shelf after it has a very very strong bond so this is the melamine that we actually had cut at a local lumber store it was quite a bit more expensive than a traditional like hardware store however we did need it and all the hardware stores were not cutting wood, so it ended up working out perfectly fine. And we only needed two pieces, so it wasn't anything crazy. I went in on the other side and I screwed it in and that finished off the shelf. So I added in the second shelf here and originally we were going to do actually a third one down here, but I think what we're gonna do is actually just keep the two and leave this larger space here for like the future option of adding like a buffet. We really don't have that much decor to place across here. And as you can see, like these are very large shelves. There's a large surface space to add things to. Also the table does kind of block your view from that third shelf anyways. So I feel like we should just leave it open. That way it's a little bit airier. We have the option to put larger items under here for storage. painting the shelf right now and it's looking so good um sadly i don't have a roller i only have a paintbrush but this paint is just such incredible quality it honestly like self levels itself and removes all brush strokes it is crazy um so i'm just using a brush for now and hopefully that's all gonna go good after two full coats of the paint but as you can see the top shelf is basically painted i still have to do the underside and the brackets they're still kind of revealed there and it's drying at the same time but it's gonna look so good so i'm gonna continue on with painting Good morning guys, it is the next day and the dining room is still a work in progress. Today though is going to be, I feel like the best day because it is the day again where I'm wrapping everything up, adding all the decorations and just making it look super pretty. So as you saw yesterday, I finished the shelves and I added two full coats of paint to all of them. They literally look like they're floating. Even though you can still kind of see the bracket here, I just wanna point it out to you guys that it's still there. But after painting it, it is pretty hidden, which is great. So these are gonna be two shelves full of just decorative pretty items. So yeah, this is kind of like the wrap up day and I'm really excited to share with you guys the final reveal of the dining room transformation. So I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating and hanging some stuff on the walls. So this is actually a mirror that I got from my dad and it was his dad's. So this is like a mirror that's kind of been in our family for a long time, I guess you could say. And I used to literally hate it when I first got it. I was like, this is such an ugly mirror. But honestly, it is so good. It's like a wooden mid-century frame, kind of has like a bamboo-esque vibe to it. And then it has these golden corners. One of them is currently missing. The other one has been lost forever. This was oriented to be hung like horizontally with these two hooks here, but there are holes here and here where it could be hung vertically. So I'm gonna unscrew them from here and rescrew them here so I can hang it vertically.
The mirror is hung and it looks absolutely incredible and also up here I glued back on the extra corner there's just one missing here but honestly it's fine it adds a little bit of character anyways and then also while I'm in the hanging mode I'm actually gonna hang this art print and this is one that I actually did myself and it's available on my site if you are curious I'll link it below it's called unfluid lines it's just like a very abstract kind of line art piece but I thought it would look so cool on this wall here because it's pretty bare at the moment so I figured we'd hang this up as well So I actually looked back at this area and just thought that the art print that I had designed was just a little bit too distracting for the space. <laughs> Sounds weird that I'm literally like not using my own print, but I'm just being completely real with you guys. I liked this one from Society6 just a little bit more. I've had this forever. I feel like it was just a little bit more easy like on the eye because the other one was just very bold, which is great for some spaces when you need that focal point. But over here, there's already kind of a lot-ish going on. So I feel like it was just too much. And I like this one a little bit more. So I'm using this one instead. Just went ahead and finished the shelves here and I am so happy that I did not add a third one here because it would have just been too much like I feel like having that blank space that is just the accent color is kind of nice because it kind of breaks up the table from having too much decorations behind it I used a mixture of items that we've had in the past before and then also a couple of pieces from my online shop these are from Lone Fox here they're super cute ceramic frames we have literally my favorite ever lavender candle here from Lavande which is also in the shop and then this really nice raffia vase and look how cool it is it's like you can kind of put it in whatever way you want it, it kind of has a geometric pattern to it which i love these are some diys i created a while back i'm going to touch these up with some black paint just a little basket there this was a pot i spray painted with some terracotta spray paint Right, so I lied. I actually ended up pulling this off of the shelf up here and placing it on the table because it just seemed perfect here and I like the contrast between the two wood tones and then I ended up adding this new pedestal ball from Lone Fox as well which is one of my favorite items. I wanted to incorporate it in this so badly and I finally found out how I added my Architectural Digest book underneath and I love the way that this looks as well. I think it looks really nice and I like it with the addition of the item on top of the table too. I do want to talk about the chandelier. Of course I am keeping this. It is such a cool like eclectic vintage vibe to this apartment and it's definitely probably original so I do not want to get rid of this at all. There is just one tiny little piece here which I ordered some crystals for to connect it. That way it's just perfectly connected. It has come time for the reveal of the dining room. Now this is always my favorite part of the video. I love editing the reveal parts because it's just like such a build up. So I'm gonna let it build up for a second. Um, this project was such a fun one and I really wanna thank Benjamin Moore so much for providing the paint for this space and just honestly sponsoring today's video. And I'm honestly in love with the way this room turned out and it really was because of the paint. The paint really did so much in here and I just think it turned into such an incredible space. As you can see, the living room is still a humongous work in progress, but I'm gonna share with you guys the dining room. So let's go ahead and review this room in three, two, one.
you guys enjoyed this room makeover video. I love the way that this room turned out. It's such a fun space. Like, it's a little bit different than anyone that I've ever designed. I really wanted to add some complimentary kind of contrast in here with, like, the terracotta and the navy. And then I stuck to a lot of neutral tones as well with just, like, the wood and then just the nice little raffia accents with pieces from my site, which I love those items so much. They're so cute. And then, of course, we added some plants, some wall art. There's even a little wall art over here as well. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And if you would like to check out more about Benjamin Moore, use the link in the description box below to definitely download their color portfolio app. It is such an incredible app. You're able to view all of their colors. You can view different palettes. You can try them in your space. You could bookmark them, save them. And if you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new home decor and DIY content every week here on Lone Fox. And you can also check out my Instagram, which is Lone Fox Home. I'll put it on the screen for you right there. I post a lot of behind the scenes and kind of like teasers of future projects and ask you guys questions, interact with you over there all the time. Have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.